Hello everybody, this is Vishal Kaushik and thanks for sparing some time to see my work on SPOT Services Framework. SPOT is an acronym that I have taken from Microsoft's work on Micro Framework. SPOT stands for Smart Personal Object Technology. My work is not to replace .NET Remoting, Web Services or WCF. Rather it is a new paradigm which stands parallel to all these. The primary objective here is to create something that is very lightweight, reliable, extensible and reusable for microcontroller devices. My demo is divided into two parts. The first part I will be showing you how to create a new spot service for you. And in the second part I will demonstrate something that I have created using spot services and microcontroller. So here is my solution. Here uh, there is a program call, uh, called uh, project, rather project, uh, which is koshik.spot.microserver. This project is deployed on a microcontroller device. In my case it is Neduno. To create a service first thing that you need to do is you need to define an interface for that service it's something very similar to what you do in uh, WCF I'm choosing a class because somehow Visual Studio doesn't give you an option to choose an interface over here so I'm saying a class Just replace this public interface. I say hello. Spot I have to mark this interface with a spot service attribute. It's in a different namespace, so it's not coming up. Yeah, there's the namespace. Now let me add a method uh, which would be hello message. And this method also needs a special attribute called spot method. Now, defining this interface uh, helps the framework to know what is the service and what all methods it's exposing. Now, when we look into uh, the proxy code generator that I'll demonstrate a little later, that also takes advantage of these attributes to identify the services and generate the proxy. Now once uh, I have my interface ready, I need to give a definition for the service. So I'll just add one more class and say hello. And this class will implement the same interface that I have defined. I say hello Oops. and Visual Studio has this tiny little thing to quickly generate something for me. I'll say return hello It's done. <coughs> now, I have created an interface, I have defined the service. Now, I need to somehow register this service on my server, which happens in the main program. So, 
So to register a spot service, there is a very simple way. It's a class for spot services. Say register service and pass on a new object for that class. One thing here that is to be noticed that uh, I'm creating one object and passing on to the service. So it's kind of a one single object which will be used for all the service calls. After this, I just need to start the server and it happens, it, it takes a parameter for uh, the port number on which this service will be available. All the services on a particular server will always be hosted on the same port and at most there could be five services and the reason behind that is that uh, it's a small device to host too many services so I've just restricted only five so as to not run out of memory. Now once I have registered the service and server is started let me build this okay now to consume this service on a client I just need to run uh, my code generator which is here now I am selecting the assembly that was generated recently and I get the complete list of interfaces the service interfaces now you need not have the actual program with you to be able to do this what you just need is a assembly that has all the interface definitions now I'll need to supply some more information here which is the namespace so let me copy this Uh, the name of proxy class, I will give it the same name. Say hello, localhost. Actually, this should be the IP address of microcontroller 8080. Generate, and you have that class generated for you. I'll just go into that program and add a new class with this name, say hello and copy everything from the generated code and paste it. Here you can notice that that hello method, the tiny little method is here for you to be consumed and you're done so just create the object of this proxy class and call this method it will take care of everything internally so it's that transparent so now I will like to move to the second part of my demo where I will like to show you uh, uh, application that is controlling my microcontroller which is net you know the control application is this one kaushik.spot.controller app I have that already running for me so let me quickly switch to it yeah so I have a service to add, uh, let me give some inputs, 65 and 35, the result is 100, uh, my name is Amitabh, so let's say, hello Amitabh. There is one LED inbuilt on the NetUno device which is somewhere here. I would like to switch it on, always on. There it is. 
I can actually ask it to start blinking. And as soon as it starts blinking, you see the message. It's a simple blink. I can change it to progressive blink. Which means blink once, then two times, then three times, and it goes in progression till ten, and then it starts over again. I can again say switch it off. And it says always off, and this is off. Let me put it back to progressive blinking. Now I have uh, controls for uh, three switches that I have created using transistors on the board. One, two, and three. I would like to switch on the first one. Switch on. There it is. It's switched on. Switch on the second one. Switch on the third one. All three switches are on. You see the LED is already blinking and I can change the name and say Vishal Kaushik. Say hello. This is basically happening because of multi-threading uh, implemented on this microcontroller. So all the services are uh, being called over threads and that is how it's responding to each of my requests. And it is also continuing to do what I have already asked it to. So it's blinking the LED pro in progressive manner. It's, it's, it has switched on the three devices that I have. And it's still responding to me. Let me change this input as well. There is the result. Now let me switch off the second item. So it goes off and I have an option to switch it on back. Now uh, I, you can, as you can see there are only three switches that I have implemented and I would just like to show you the code as well. The switch service. In switch service I just have switch number one, two and three. If there is a request to switch on or off any other switch, it will throw an exception saying not supported. Switch number this is not supported. So let's try that on our uh, test application. I have added a dummy item, uh, fourth item. So let me try and switch it, switch it on. And there you see the exception. Complete details are there. So the spot services is capable of thr throwing back the exception on the client what happened on, on the server end. So that the client application knows and it feels as if everything happened in its own application domain. Few other things. Here I have shown you an example of hosting the services on microcontroller and consuming that on my uh, WPF client. But it can be a reverse situation. I can host those services on my computer to do something and I can consume it on my microcontroller. But somehow I didn't have uh, interactive input ready for my microcontroller, so I did not show you a demo of that. But definitely that also works and works well. So this concludes my demo. And thanks for staying along with me.